In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a tone paper infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the paper get tone from the top and it will reveal the step one with the icon and the detailed text. And when I click, it will give you the second tone paper, then the third and the fourth. And I've made one more slide where you want to show that there's a 50% a sale going on in your shop so that uh, you can put kind of these images to attract more customers. And I have created one more slide where the tone paper will come one from the top and another comes from the bottom. And one more where only I've created two. And then you can type your own text here at the right side. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the slide background color to gray. Then go to insert shapes under lines, select freeform shape. And then from the top of the slide, start making the shape of a paper which got teared. So how much size you need, you can just make it. So I'm going to make only this one. And then later on we can increase or decrease also it's depend on so I'm just going to make it and then bring it to the starting point and click now you got this shape a shape outline make it white and you can increase the weight you can make it maybe uh, two quarter points and then you can go and fill the color of your choice let me just use this color now if you want to make it more uh, you can see a, it's kind of a straight cut if you want to make it more kind of uh, a tiered then right mouse click go to edit points just zoom it and then you can just adjust it also from here or just click here then again you can see the two white squares you can just do it or if you feel that you need more stops you can right mouse click and you can add say add point here also and just do it like this and click outside so you will be getting this shape and then i'm going to use some shadow effect for this one right mouse click go to format shape and under effects shadow click on presets and you can use any under which is inner maybe i can use uh, this one and if you want you can make it somewhat blur effect now let me add uh, the bottom at the the paper which got curled so just go to insert again shape the same i'm going to select which is the free form shape and here i'm just going to make it something like this and click here you got this shape shape outline i'm making it no outline and fill i'm going to make it a gradient fill you can use some dark and light color combination maybe i'm going to give some darker here and here i'll just use some use some light color and again at the bottom i'm going to use some dark colors like this you can see here if you want to increase or reduce the size you can do also and I'm going to select one more, press Ctrl D, reduce the size and send this to back. So it's two folds. Here if you want, you can give some shadow effect also. I'm going to use this down shadow effect and for or you can use maybe uh, this one, which is this offset bottom right. And for this also, I'm going to give the same shadow effect.
let me just make it a smaller size so you can see here uh, these are the two uh, this one uh, shapes I've created with this so let me just do the other one here I'm going to do some more modifications for this you can just right mouse click you can just say edit point and you can just change a little bit here and put it at the bottom something like this so then I'm just going to make another one if you want you can just copy and paste it here or if you want to make a new one just go to insert again shapes and select the same freeform shape and start making one more this time I'm going to make it uh, for example if you have got this one again let me just delete this again and insert one more time so you have to do it somewhat carefully otherwise halfway through you have to do it again and then I'm just joining these two that's it and then again shape outline the same white outline and weight you're going to give the same and shape fill maybe you can use a um, different color and shadow effect the same shadow effect you can use it here and make it somewhat blur likewise you can just select this control d to duplicate bring it here and if you want to add some more you can add one more also i'll just press ctrl d let me just increase the size a little bit and ctrl d reduce the size and send to pack so you got three folds here likewise you can just uh, make the remaining three or four according to your requirement so in this tutorial I'm going to just show you two only and for this and I'm going to group it control G to group it this also press control G to group it now uh, it's time to add some text and icons if you want to add icons just go to insert icons and select the icons of your choice so let me just select maybe two icons maybe this one and this one just insert and size make it 0.5 both height and width and sheet graphic fill I'm going to make it white so let me just add this here and this one here in the center then add the text here I will say step 01 center align I'm going to use the font century gothic or you can change according to your requirement and again put it in the center make it white font and control D to duplicate put it here this will be the step 2 and then you can add some more detailed text below and control D and put it here so likewise you can add the text so I'm going to select this step the icon the text and the detail text press control G to group this also control G to group now it's time to do the animation to add the animations go to animation enable the animation pane I'm going to remove the format background I'm going to select this first and I'm going to use an animation called fly in fly in effect option save from top 
comes like this double click the option and timing make it medium just say okay so it comes something like this and then for this i'm going to use a uh, animation called wipe wipe effect should be from top and double click this timing this also make it medium and say okay and this should happen with previous so i'll just select with previous now if i play you can see here it comes like this and then this text also i'm going to use the wipe effect wipe again from top you can make it maybe with previous a delay of 0.50 seconds let's see here how it works still it should be more delay maybe one second yeah this is perfect so for me to copy the animation is very easy i'm just going to select this first animation painter click on this then again i'm going to select this animation painter click on this and the last one which is this animation painter click on this so let's see when i click it first comes then the second comes and the text likewise you can create three four five according to your requirement that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye